Hello everybody, welcome. Today we are going to continue our work on previous code and we are going to create an access object with constructor notation. This is our HTML index page and there is link to JavaScript file and there is link to our CSS file and there we are going to change just to 7, it's part 7. Then you can delete all code from JavaScript and uh, all code from stylesheet.css. Then we are going to start coding. To get a better idea of why you may want to create multiple objects on the same page, here is one example. And now we are going to create one function, it's constructor function and it's going to be hotel with name rooms and booked and then we are going to enter this name is equal to name this rooms is equal to rooms and this booked is equal to booked and now we are going to create one method and it's going to be check availability and it's going to be equal to function And it's going to return this rooms minus this booked. The this keyword, this one, is used instead of uh, the object name to indicate that the property or method belongs to the object that this function creates. Each statement that creates a new property or method for this object ends with semicolon it's one statement and the uh, name of constructor function this is the name of constructor function begins usually with capital letter unlike other functions other functions begin with uh, lowercase letter and uh, uppercase letter is supposed to help uh, remind developer to use the new keyword when they create an object using this function First we make variable and then instance of this type of hotel object and then we create second and so on. First we are going to create variable with name metro for example equal to new hotel and then we enter the name of hotel it's going to be for example metropolitan. Then number of rooms for example 300 and number of booked rooms for example 12. Then we create second for example Torres is equal to new hotel for example Torres then the number of rooms for example 23 and the booked rooms 11 and then the third one is going to be for example Velos is equal to new hotel and inside of parentheses we are going to enter the name Velos then the number of uh, rooms for example 46 and the booked rooms 12 and now we created instances of this object having created instances of these objects you can then access their properties and methods using the same notation that you use with all other objects and now we are going to do exactly that we are going to create for example var detail 1 is equal to and then we assign values first we are going to create one div with class for example hotel and then we enter hotel name and then we assign value of name metro dot name plus then we enter one break line and then we enter total number of rooms plus metro dot rooms then we enter another break line and then we display booked rooms 
booked rooms and then metro dot booked and then we create another break line and we display available rooms in hotel and metro dot check availability and then we need to close our div element after that we can document write detail one save and you can reload web page and the informations from that object are displayed now we can do the same thing with second hotel it's Torres you can copy this and you can enter torres.name torres.booked and torres.check availability and this is detail 2 now we can copy again all this and we can enter the name of third hotel it's velos velos.name velos.rooms velos.booked and velos.check availability and it's detail 3 you can reload our web page again and all informations are displayed but this is not very nice and we are going to add some style every hotel is inside div div with class name hotel and its closing div tag we can add some style to this class and we can do that with our style sheet and just enter hotel its name of class and we enter for example background color we are going to enter black color of text is going to be white now font family is going to be for example Verdana font size is going to be for example 16 pixels we need padding is going to be 15 pixels and margin is going to be 20 pixels you can save and reload page this is the result now but uh, we can add some border radius for example 20 pixels save and reload page again this is the result of our work you can open our JavaScript file now this is very useful if you have many objects and then you can create as many as you like and then you can display all of them with one for loop next time we are going to work with decisions and thank you for watching see you next time goodbye